warm welcome to you all from Buenos Aires to a venue which hardly requires an introduction. It is, and our live game is Brazil against the Netherlands. I'm Peter Drury, and this is Jim Beglin. Cheers, Peter. It's a privilege to be here, it really is. Everybody standing for the national anthem of the Netherlands. of the national anthem of Brazil. Brazil are in a 4-3-3 formation. Well, it's a system that promotes width, Peter. The wide men can stretch the fences and just create that running room for others. out as the telling individual today Arjen Robin even though as a defender you know what's coming it's still very hard to stifle this fella's threat a live wire who's always angling to get in on his left foot and, and what a left foot we're talking about yes he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team Renato Augusta Neymar looks like a good ball through Firmino with the ball through Coutinho plays it backwards, and they'll try again. Chance to break. Looks to slip it through. That's a decent ball. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Firmino. It's Marcelo. Marcelo. Great run on the overlap here. Gorgeous control there. Great leap! Goal! Brazil! And Brazil take the lead! Oops, he's now gone and removed his shirt. To be followed, no doubt, by the yellow card. And he has been actually booked for his uh, shirt off celebration, Peter. Yeah, well, that was inevitable. Brazil break the deadlock. Listen, when it comes to goals, Peter, in this team, he's always the number one contender, and he's done it again. That intervention was very necessary. Thiago Silva. Coutinho. Strickman tries to get it forward quickly. 
Out to the left it goes. Blint. Now he's wondering who wants it. Paulinho sticks in a foot to win it back. Klaassen showed plenty of zest in getting to the ball, but couldn't quite sort it out. Blint. Ball is over the line. Across the line, and it's a throw. And it's Vinaldum. Looks to clip it forward. He's gone for it. All oh, the balls come loose. And there's the end of the first half. So there you have it. A close fought half of football, but one that still had its moments, but ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front men for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Brazil leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments, and it's 1-0 at the break. So we're already into the second period. Brazil carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Marcelo. João Miranda. Firmino, Marcelo. What a throw in. Fine Alden, Robin, Struten. And it's Robin. Marcelo gets into the right position to intercept. Aldum tries to dink it in. Janssen. Is it in? Oh, good stop. It had to be. A oh, great save. Real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur. He's had a shot! They've done it! The Netherlands are level! He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Our players like this fella almost have a sixth sense to get themselves in such great poaching positions. How quick-minded was that? The Netherlands grab the equaliser, and we're all square. Yeah, for me, both sides are strong and well-matched, and I think you need to be a good player to be out there right now. Robin. Plenty waiting in the middle. The shot's on! He's got away with one there. Is on the back foot. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Yeah, and the fact that he's registered, Peter, simply encourages more attention of, um, of a, a closer nature. Aimed in towards the centre. And Dyke boots it to safety. And the counter is on. Plays it out to the wing. And the whistle has gone for a reckless challenge there. And he has shown him a yellow card. <laughs> and 
Dyke. Big shot, final done! And somehow he managed to miss it. Or maybe the tension around this game played a part in that because he should have put them ahead then. It's so nearly... He'll have a tick! Oh, should have put that away. Marcelo. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Gets up to head it! He's scored! Well, look, we see all sorts of goals appreciated in all sorts of different ways, but this is an obvious extra in that it's the captain. It's very late, and it should get the job done. Thanks very much. A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Oh, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Brazil take what looks to be a decisive lead. Well, the last moments now, Peter, are going to be very frantic. There's still time for a, a twist or two yet. Tries a through ball. Dani Alves cuts it out. Thiago Silva plays it forward. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Brazil have held on. A knife-edge game, a single goal margin, but they have won it. So a dramatic game decided in its very last moments. Well, I just think that determination and persistence has paid off handsomely to, to squeeze the win out of a draw. Sometimes 